Hello everyone and welcome back to Pax and Recreation and today we're going fluffy with none other than Fribblepuff, the best and most beloved character in Magic the Gathering history or something. Like if you have to think about a mascot for Magic the Gathering and let's be honest, we cannot think we cannot use the Black Lotus as a mascot. I mean, we can. Well, the Black Lotus is a symbol, not a mascot. Um, what is the closest thing that we have to a Pikachu in Magic the Gathering? Well, I would argue Fibblepuff. And this is a Fibblepuff Premium Zippered Gamer Pouch for dice, tokens, and other accessories. Did they need to call it Gamer pouch? Well, it is for playing games, but we all know that if you call it gamer, it automatically makes its value a lot better. Now, we will discuss this in a second. Let me get some die, or some dice, technically. If you are like me, you carry your die, or your dice, <laughs> plurals, right? In a, in a bag like this, which is not very fancy, but it's a thing. And if you're a magic player, most of the time, you have the 20s with you. And if you're a D&D player, you have your set of die uh, or, or, or dice. I don't even know what language I'm speaking anymore. So you can you either have your set of dice or you have different dice, like plus one, plus one dice or, mi or minus one, minus one dice, which we also have. And I will show you in another video so this doesn't, this isn't too long for what it is. So, but sometimes you want, you want some, you want some drip, you know, you want some meh, 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 and this is why Ultra Pro is creating things like this. So this is a pouch that technically you can put in your bag hanging like this, which is great because it's Fibblepuff and this is great. And it's not only a plushie because mind you, it's very fluffy. It's like, it's an actual plush, but it has a pouch. So you can just open Fibblepuff and put some dye in here. Now, how many dye can you put in here? It's awful for me to say die, die, die as I put my fingers inside Fibblepuff, but not that many apparently. So these are normal Magic the Gathering size D20s, the ones that come with bundle, with bundles, although most people use these, they don't use the oversized D20s, which are these ones. So one, two, how many did we put in here again? So one, two, three, four, Five, and I guess we can keep pushing. Six, seven, this feels wrong at some level. Eight, maybe one more. Nine, can we get it to ten? I think we can. Ten. Ten oversized D20, the ones that come with bundle people. So, can it close? No, I think that the limit is 9. I don't want to force Fibblepuff more than he's being forced already. So 9. 9 is also kind of a straight... Oh, there you go, but it, he has a lump. So I I guess that 9... Uh, 8 is the magic number. 8 oversized D20s is the magic number for Fibblepuff. And obviously the less you put, the better concealed this is. Now, in terms of quality, mind you, I have gloves, but you can tell by how it gets marked when I pass my fingers. Like the material is, the material is okay. It's pretty good. Um, it's Wizards licensed, Ultra Pro. Like it's of the, this is the official thing, the real deal. In terms of the making of it, you can see like no weird stitches showing. It's kind of there, you know, fairly decently. You can see that you you can't see the stitches when you pull. And uh, yeah, you can just hang it from your bag like this and it just looks cute because it's Fibblepuff. Now I have a, and that will be the end of the video pretty much, but although my camera, as you as you saw, kind of sabotaged me, well, this, you have this, this thread here that we need to cut. But besides that, it's not that bad. And I guess that if you put a normal set of D&D die, dice, damn it, um, 
that will be okay. But this is Philopath and it is magic, right? So me having eight D20s, I think is enough. Maybe, maybe I can put some some counters here, some figures as well. Maybe apparently seven is the best number because that way. But I have a problem with this Philopath, and it's like it isn't Philopath. I mean, it is because of the of the teeth and because of the body you can say it is Philopath, but let's be honest here if this didn't have this tag hanging this could be mike wazowski from monsters inc this could be any troll or ogre this can even be the troll from harry potter like there is like i know that it's a plushie and that's why they made it this color this you know happier green but Philippus to me was always more like vomit green not so much monsters ink green and that's my biggest criticism of this but besides that is you know it's nice as a present as a gift it's okay and you can have it hanging from your bag and you know it's difficult for it to get stolen i mean it can get stolen but at least hey they have to break it i guess so not bad a weird stitch in the eye, I don't know if you can see, kind of weird, but besides that, it's good, you know, novelty, kind of present, stocking filler, kind of thing, and it fits comfortably, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Magic the Gathering oversized d20s and maybe eight uh, actually if it's eight but it's kind of rough and ten it gets a lump so there's that let me know in the comments if this really looks like philopath to you and uh, if i'm pronouncing that right also and or if you prefer another putrid color and also a side question what kind of kind of person are you are you the type of type of person that when you buy a plushie you keep the tag on the plushie because I've seen a lot of people that have plushies on their house and they keep the tag on the plush. I don't know if it's because it's to prove like it, oh it's official or something, or it's because sometimes in like cases like this one, the plush actually proves who the hell you're looking at. In this case, it's like oh it's Philip. Okay, nice, that's nice. And um, or you just remove the the tags because they get dirty with time or whatever. I know. Let me know down below. Are you, I'm not much of a plush person, but I like this as a bag to carry some dice on it. It just feels that it could fit a lot more given the body of Philopath. But yeah, I like Mike Wazowski and trolls and ogres. So I guess this is fine. Let me know down below and I will see you next time on packs and recreation. Bye.